Welcome to this CockroachDB series on architecture. Today, we'll be looking at MVCC, or multi-version concurrency control. This is nothing new to CockroachDB, it's common in many databases, but today I'd like to show you how CockroachDB harnesses MVCC to support concurrent requests and provide consistency guarantees. In the following steps, I'll show you what happens when rows are created, deleted, and schemas are modified, and what that means for storage in CockroachDB. First, we'll create a database and hop into it. I'll create a table and insert some data into it. In order to use CockroachDB's time travel queries, a query that uses a timestamp to read from historical data, we'll take a snapshot of the current time now before we do anything else. Next, I'll perform a schema change. This will result in an additional version of our table data being stored in CockroachDB. If we now take a look at the create statement for the table before I performed the alter table, we'll see that CockroachDB has remembered the history of the table as it was before I made the change. In this example, we see the primary key as it is now. And in this example, we see using the as of system time time travel query, how the primary key was before I made the change. Hopping over to the console, we can see that at the point that I made the table alteration, the amount of data in the table increased as a new version was created. I'll take another snapshot of time now, and this time delete everything from the table. That's deleted 100,000 rows. Let's select the number of rows in the table as of now. As expected, there's nothing in the table. Now we'll select the number of rows before I made the deletion because CockroachDB has a history of that. As expected, the 100,000 rows are still available for selection. These will continue to be available until the next garbage collection run, which will happen by default in 25 hours. We can change that, which I'll do in a minute, and I'll show you what that results in. In the console again, we can see that while I've deleted the data from the database, the initial amount of data is still present. This won't go to zero until garbage collection has run. Let's force garbage collection to run now. With this query, I alter the garbage collection TTL in seconds from 25 hours down to 30 seconds. Now that the garbage collection has run, we can see that the number of rows in the table and their versions have now been deleted, taking us back roughly where we were before we inserted any data. This includes the version of the data prior to deletion and any table alterations that we made. To summarize, CockroachDB's use of MVCC for data versioning will be purged by default every 25 hours. This is completely configurable by you, but it's something to be aware of when you're running CockroachDB clusters if storage is a concern for you.